Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about how we can combine files. In our previous module, we have dealt with Power Query Editor. That what is a Power Query Editor and how it useful it is for us. In our today's session, we will be discussing about data modeling. What is data modeling? What is its importance? Let's understand that. For that, first of all, let's open Excel here. In Excel, you can open that workbook which we created for Pizza Sales, where we loaded all our data over here by using Power Query Editor. If you're not following our previous videos, do follow our previous videos so that you can reach till here. Now, what is data modeling? Let's understand that. Suppose, as of now, uh, I have these four different files over here, right? And I want to create a pivot table. I want to create a dashboard out of it or even I want to create a pivot table. So I'm adding a new sheet called as pivot. Okay. I want to know that here are some categories of pizzas. Here are also names of pizza. I want to see which category is hot selling. Okay. So we have category. And if we go to orders or uh, order details, we have the amount of these categories that how much amount has been placed. Okay. How much orders has been placed and how much amount has been generated, how much sales has been generated. To generate that, we need a pivot table. That means a summary table, which we will be discussing further uh, in future. Okay. As of now, if I go to insert and add a pivot table over here. Okay. And let's add it from data model as of now. And if I add it to this existing worksheet, you can see we have pizza types. So let's go to pizza types. Uh, where is pizza type? Here we have pizza types. Here we have categories. The rows should contain categories. As soon as I go to order details, we have amount. If I add the values, it will give me all the values over here that chicken's sale is this much, classic pizza sale is this much, supreme sale is this much and veggies sales is this much. But do you think all the values are same and the grand total is also same? Do you think it is possible that all of the values are same and the grand total is also same? Not possible, right? So uh, to join all these files all together, all together means doesn't, doesn't mean that I want to bring all the files in one place. but to build the connection between each of the files. So with the help of pizza type, so with the help of category, we can find out uh, how many sales we have generated or how many uh, orders we have placed, right? If I want to find all these things, then we need to do data modeling. How data modeling is done is very simple. All you need to do is we have developer enabled for us. In developer, go to com add-ins. In com add-ins, you will find Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel. Click on OK. As soon as you'll click on Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel, a new button manage will appear for you. A new tab Power Pivot, which will allow us to model our data. This will appear. In this, we have manage section. Suppose if your data, uh, okay, let's me just first click on manage section. So if I go to manage, because I added all my data to the data model, you can see all our files are available over here this is the area where we model our data okay if in your case the files are not available for you in that case all you need to do is simply select the table click on add to data model so that all the files will be visible to you in the data model if they are not there if they are already there okay all you need to do is go to diagram view in diagram view we have all our files let's open them like this okay and i'll just open all the columns so i'll expand it so that all the columns are visible okay now we need to model our data to model our data how to model our data is very simple uh, because we were building connections between order details and pizzas what do you see common in order details and pizza? We have order details ID here, order ID here, pizza ID. We have pizza ID and pizza also has a pizza ID. Okay, so if I go to pizza ID and if I drop it on pizza ID, it will build a connection over here, which will show you one and asterisk. That means here is a connection of one to many. Here we have pizza type ID and here also we have pizza type ID. If I build the connection again, it's showing one to asterisk, which means there is a connection of one to many. That means this pizza ID is occurring one time in pizza types and many times in pizzas. We'll be discussing about cardinality more in our next session. 
as of now once we have built this relationship here let's see what are the changes in our excel file i'll just close this file you don't have to save power uh, pivot you can just close it directly let's go to pivot and now you can see that the sales have changed for us now the sales for chicken is this much classic is this much supreme is this much and for veggies it is this much so now the relationship has been built between each table and with the reference of one table you can get the data of another table this is what data modeling is in our next session we will be discussing about what is cardinality what kinds of relationships are created how these relationships are created so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you